Hello YouTube, welcome back to Traveling and Radio Scanner Tips for Traveling with Tommy Cunningham. My name is Tommy Cunningham, here to talk about his top four different possibilities for, for looking into a different, a different hobby than using like a big giant radio scanner like for instance like the home patrol 2 or home patrol 1. i hope you guys like this video if you guys make if you guys are new to this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button ding that notification bell so you guys will not miss out on any videos so, so, so the first thing that we are going to be talking about is how much I like, how much I like the two radios that, that I currently like to listen to sometimes on my trips. Number one is the BC-125 AT, which is one of Uniden's best of scanners if you guys listen to radio frs or gmrs radios if you guys use those please make sure please make sure you guys do some looking up like regarding your radio frequencies and stuff like for instance like at radioreference.com or 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 anywhere else that would allow radio scanners. So also, like also, there are, there is like a couple of good radio stations that people can listen to and a couple of good websites they could probably use the first website is, for instance, broadcastified.com slash calls. Because broadcastified.com slash calls is like one of the best things that you guys could listen to. Now I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why here in a minute. So, um, so the first reason why that I think that is a really good thing to listen to, it's because they are really honest and true whenever they talk about radio activity on their radio scanners and stuff. Because, because when anybody listens to like a good radio, communication they listen to so much like different stuff like in a single day now now they also use several different areas which i think which is really kind of neat and what they should do it is like like one of my all time favorite radio stations that I listened to, which I thought, which was inside the, um, which was inside, which was inside the area of Cumberland, Maryland. And this radio station was called, called 100.1. WVND because that radio station got out like a really good tone. Plus, there's also like a couple of other good stations, like 101.7 WEJD, WELD 101.7. Now, that station comes out of West Virginia. For some reason, I think West Virginia has some better country stations than here and, and where I live. 
because because they honestly got like like some places you guys go to like when you guys got there to Chicago they got WCCQ which is like their country station up there like when you guys go down there to Clarksville you guys You guys also got like a couple of different areas, which I think, which is really good. Like the first area that I would think, which would have the bestest communication, which is like, for instance, like number one, number one has to be any place that is like a big metropolitan area like for instance like the metropolitan areas like like los angeles like new york city like las vegas nevada denver colorado like denver i heard in their radio communication they use a lot and a lot of dmr in their location which I think, which is so, this is what I gotta say about that. I think that right there is like so stinking unreal that they have to do that. But I understand why, okay? Now, now, now the radio frequencies here at the Denver International Airport, they are, some of them are like, like some of them are encrypted. Like for instance, the Federal Bureau of Investigation Operations. And then after that, like Fort Logan has it. And and then after that, Greenlands, the National Forest, which luckily they don't do it. Rio Grande National Forest, they got narrow FM all around there. And the United States Forest Service, they got awards. And on the uh, San Juan National Forest, they got Forest Central, which is 169. And then after that, you guys got different interop fire groups. Like the National Park Service has like the Colorado National Monument, Discovery National Monument, Great Sand Dunes. Now the Rocky Mountain National Park, some of these radio frequencies on here that I'm currently looking at, which gives out like a big, big thing. Like when you guys go look around, like for instance, like at their different technology, which I think, which is really, <clears throat> which I think, which is really kind of neat. I think it's really awesome. Now, like a couple of other different areas that I've been to, which I think which probably has like an all time on a one to 10 ratio on like a 10, on a 10 ratio, they got, they got for instance, they got so many like different airlines that you guys can go on like to go wherever in the world. But you guys have to stick to a single flight plan, which I think, <clears throat> which I think that's kind of crazy some places. So like up here on my TV right now, I'm currently watching right now the Lost 
Gary to watch the Las Vegas International Airport and see like what's their famous rail possibilities, what is their famous obstacles they have to use, like what is going on there. So this right here is like what it looks like. Currently on the tarmac right now. For a little while. So on the tarmac, they usually give out so much like good details. It is like so crazy. Like when you guys have to go on like a airline, which I think, which is like so very lucky if you guys ever get to go on like a airline. Now, luckily during like, like, like through my years on using like airports, luckily there is a thing you guys can use there, which is called TSA PreCheck, which I think, which is really kind of great that they got. And, and they also, and they also got, for instance, like a couple of different areas that you guys can go listen to, which I think, which is really kind of great on some points. So the first point that I think, which is really great about the air, airports is that, that places, like some airports has this thing called, called TSA CARES which TSA CARES takes you, <coughs> which takes, <coughs> which takes you throughout the different areas, which I think, which is really kind of great which I think also, which kind of helps you guys out on like a couple of different obstacles. Like either, like either for your school, for your school, for your work, and for your, for your day-to-day -day life. Because you may not know if that place will allow you to have radio scanners or not. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, please make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell. So I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Have a great day.